Hi, AB Auto here. So today I'm going to be doing a spark plug upgrade. Um, so I'm going to put um, these NGK Iridium IXs in the car. Um, so it says on here, it says benefits of NGK Iridium spark plugs, lower fuel consumption, longer life, smoother engine running, improved ignition efficiency, giving enhanced power and acceleration. Um, so it's always important that when you get your new spark plugs out of the box that um, so the thing about these Iridium IX is um, they've got like a taper taper ground electrode strap which improves um, the flame kernel to come out better um, and also there's a finer find a tip center electrode and that's um, iridium tipped and um, so it's always important that when you get re when you're replacing your spark plugs that you get one of these tools which is a spark plug uh, gapper so, so I've marked here what gap that I need to have these at so on the box here, the code, this last number here, that is the gap that it needs to be at. So that means 1.1 millimeter. Um, so I've roughly marked out on here, that's 1.1 mil mil millimeter. So when I put this round here, it stops just, not exactly on there, but it's good enough for me. Um, so that's rough, roughly, um, 1.1 so on this side it shows you in millimeters um, and that's roughly 1.1 there so I'm, I'm happy with that gap and then you would do the same with all four of them okay so let's now get to the the actual changing of them so as you can see I've got um, HT leads here one for each spark plug so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each one um, a time at a time because I don't want to get these leads mixed up. So first I'm going to, you just wriggle this out like that to hear it go plump. Then just set, set it aside like that. And then the spark plug, as you can see, is all the way down in there. So to get it out, Simply, all you do is, is you get yourself a spark plug socket. So, something like this. It's not. It's normally a sixteen mil uh, socket, and you get yourself an extension bar like this. And then you just need a ratchet. So obviously that's righty tighty, lefty loosey. On some other ratchets you may find it's that way to loosen it and that way to tighten it. So all you do is you put the socket onto the spark plug. So I'll just get you in a bit closer. So you would get this socket onto the spark plug like this and just just to um just to make sure when you whenever you change spark plugs make sure you do it on a, a cold engine uh, because you don't because it's an aluminium head so you don't want to um you don't want to damage the threads on the on the head so always make sure that the engine's cold first so once you've got it on there like that and I can feel it, you know, it's tight like that, you know that that socket is now on that spark plug. So then, then just simply get your ratchet on here like this. And then it will be a bit tight, so you just want to go like that loosen it off and 
then you can just do the rest by hand now until you feel the spark plug is loose like that and then you just reach in with your fingers grab the top of the spark plug and out comes the old one so this is the old spark plug um, it's, it's actually it's not old or anything um, and you're looking for that that coffee colour on there that means your engine is running good so that's the old one out there's actually nothing wrong with these and um, I'm just wanting to upgrade to the new plug so I'll compare the two together so you can see what the main differences are so you can see that the ground electrode on the Iridium IX this one you can see that that tapered uh, ground electrode which this one doesn't have and then the other difference is is you can see that this one the ground electrode has a much thinner one than than this one and then I will show you side by side you can see the difference between the two this one has a much finer tip so all you have to do now is get the new one and just gent gently drop it in by hand first until you just feel it sit sitting into that seat like that and then the same as before put your socket on like that and then you want to do this you want to do this by hand so that you don't cross thread anything until it stops like that when it stops like that then get the ratchet on but this time set it to tighten and then once it stops there just a little just a little snug like that and that's it that's all you tighten a spark plug to you never over tighten them that's the the most you do it and then you simply just pop that back on until you hear it click in place um so yeah guys um i hope you enjoyed the video um I hope it helped you out and um, that's how you change your spark plugs and um, I'm not going to show this, this it's exactly the same procedure with these ones here so um, you don't so I'm not going to show you how to do these ones because it's exactly the same as that one and you will just do the same with these three and um, so yeah I hope that helps you out and um, hope you enjoy the video